Hello and welcome to this set of video tutorials on standard electrode potentials. I hope you find them useful. My name is James. If you want to find more of my resources, more about what I do, do have a look at my website, chemistry.jamesmungall.co.uk. My intention here is to help you understand some of the trickier concepts in chemistry a bit better. So this one here I've subtitled Chemistry and Conventions because it's really important to be able to distinguish between the two. And I'm hoping that having watched this, you'll be able to say, I understand what chemistry must, must be going on. And uh, I also know what conventions have been used with regard to the standard electrode potentials. If you do get this, you'll be in a great position to really understand what's going on when doing calculations involving the electrochemical series. So I've divided this topic into four parts, uh, this introduction in which we're going to go over some assumed knowledge, i.e. what redox is, what half equation is, and a basic understanding of voltage. And then looking at the bigger picture, why do we want to measure electrode potentials? Uh, then going on to describe the uh, electrochemical cell to uh, look at the chemical courses and conventions. And finally, a definitive description of standard electrode potentials. So assumed knowledge here, uh, redox, half equations, and voltage. Uh, redox reactions are where one species is oxidized and one is reduced. We can say that oxidation is loss of electrons and uh, reduction is gain of electrons. Uh, we can write half equations which involve electrons. So for example, here we have sodium losing an electron and uh, chlorine gaining an electron. And then the two half equations can be combined, uh, cancel out the electrons, and we have a balanced equation. With regard to voltage, uh, you just simply should be aware that you can measure the voltage of the battery with a voltmeter. And as long as you get the terminals plugged in the right way around, then you'll get the correct voltage of that battery. So hopefully you're familiar with these concepts and particularly this idea of species gaining or losing electrons. So uh, why do we want to measure electrode potentials? Sort of what's the big picture here? We want to build up a quantitative reactivity series of uh, redox behavior. At the one end, the species which really strongly tend to lose electrons and those which gain electrons strongly at the other end. We can then use that to predict reactions and make batteries and uh, really understand uh, redox chemistry much better. And just to see that you can think of this in terms of what you already know about chemical reactivity, you may want to have a think about this question in which I've asked, where do you think the following uh, would be on this reactivity series? Uh, it's a matter of matching up these uh, boxes to one of these uh, boxes here. Okay, that's it for the introduction. Next, we'll look at the electrochemical cell and the technical terms you need to know.